What is up, my fellow Cheebits? Today, I'm here to bring all of you wonderful news. Excellent news. Actually, the one of the best pieces of news I can get in a while. Like, you know what? This fucking year has been amazing because we have gotten so much good news this year. I've talked about this over and over. I mean, look, Spice and Wolf is getting a light novel sequel. Hunter Hunter is coming back. Berserk was back, and it's going to be coming back this summer with the manga and also the anime. On top of that, D. Gray Man gets an anime. D. Gray Man comes back as a manga. A bunch of other fucking series are coming back. There is This is just a good year. I mean, I mean, JoJo on top of that, I mean, it's so good. But now, the information we just got about less than 24 hours ago, which I've been wanting to make a video, just been very busy. Fate. New announcements for Fate. And I've already been Bam fucked by so many of you Cheebits. And, you know, my hype right now is through the fucking roof for Fate. You know how I am for Fate. I bought all the BD DVDs and shit. I love Fate. I've watched it. And I'm also playing the visual novel of Fate Stay Night. I'm on Heaven's Fill arc of, you know, Fate Stay Night's visual novel. It's a very fucking awesome series. I love Type Moon. And we now have a new announcement. Two! Not one! But two new announcements on Fate. Now, the announcement I expected was more information on Fate Stay Night, Heaven's Fill. But something else happened. Something almost unexpected. Something that caught me by surprise with my pants down. I didn't even expect it to happen. Fate Extra Last Encore is being made into an anime series. Now, here's the thing that really caught me by surprise. The studio that is working on Fate Extra is not Studio Fotable, the people that are responsible for Unlimited Blade Works, responsible for Fate Zero, responsible for Heaven's Fill, and, you know, they're not making Fate Extra. Now, you're probably wondering, oh shit, oh shit, what, what does this mean? Is it going to be bad? Is it, should I be worried? Don't worry, this ain't Studio Dean. This isn't, you know, a studio that's probably going to shit on the quality. Because you want to know what, you know, I guess Studio is working on it? Well, Studio Shaft. Yeah, Shaft, the Head Tilt Studio. When I saw that Studio Shaft is going to be making Fate Extra, I was excited. Like, this is probably one of the best studios that could possibly grab Fate besides Studio Votable. Because Shaft, they're very good with psychological series. They're very good with a very awesome, wacky art style. And you can see it in a lot of their series. Like, Monogatari is a very perfect example. And seeing... Fate Extra going to be made by this studio, I can already imagine the mind fucks, the wacky animation, to the quality that's going to be thrown in, because I feel like Shaft most likely knows that Fate is a series that probably prints money. I mean, look, it was sold a lot last year, you know, Unlimited Blayworks, it sold, the sales were through the fucking roof in Japan, so I'm willing to bet Shaft knows that, you know, Fate's going to sell well, so they're probably going to put in that, you know, Monogatari budget probably even better into the series. So, when is it coming out? That's probably what you all are thinking. Well, we got these announcements that the, these series are going to be coming out in 2017. So sadly, we're not going to get any new Fate series this year. It's not going to happen. But the good news is, is that even though we have to wait till 2017 for Fate Extra, Heaven's Fill is also going to be in 2017. But here's the good news. The good news is, is that Heaven's Fill is not going to be one movie. It's not going to be two movies. It's actually going to be a trilogy. And this is, I think, probably the best news that we could have gotten for Heaven's Fill. Because I remember seeing so many fans of Fate complaining and worried. Very, very worried. Myself included, I was kind of worried. I'm actually kind of worried now because I've read a little bit into Heaven's Fill. And I just don't think that one movie could possibly cover the content that is in Heaven's Fill. There's just so much shit. Even with Unlimited, you know, Blade Works... There was some con uh, content that were still cut, and if you think about Unlimited Blade Works, I mean, it was very good. It had extra episodes, it had episodes that were hour long, multiple episodes hour long, not just one, but multiple. And, and when you think about it, that still I don't think might be able to even cut Heaven's Fill. It would need a lot of time and a lot of focus. It was it's a very uh, it's a very big arc that gives a lot of information. 
And when you think about it like that, it getting three movies, it's perfect. Because the reason why, it allows it to have a movie running time, and it allows it to not be censored for TV. We know how movies are. We know how movies are in Japan. Movies can be anything. They can be uncensored. They can show all sorts of gritty content that they normally can't show in TV. Now, of course, when, you know, the TV version finally gets a BD, they could probably add that content in. And, you know, we do know Fotable does do stuff like that. They do add content into their series when it comes out with a BD. But, you know, they don't do it a whole lot. Like, they, they can't put everything in. And when we think about it like that, Heaven's Phil being, like, the content some of it the content that's in it i'm glad they're choosing the movie route and it's going to be a trilogy so that's possibly like the best thing that could happen for heaven's fill and i feel like all type moon fans right now are jumping for joy and i mean if you've been with this series longer than i have most likely you're gonna be fucking you're just gonna be hella happy so very good news very good news for heaven's fill right there so studio Fotable, keep up the good work on that now talking back or talking about fate extra again Fate Extra, like I said, is coming out in 2017. We have no concrete announcement what month of next year it's going to be coming out. We don't know if it's going to be, you know, winter 2017, spring 2017, summer, so forth, so on. You get my point. We don't know what time of the year it's going to, you know, start. But we do know, however, it is going to happen. And with the announcement, we can expect great things for next year. It's already looking like a very good year next year. Because, I mean, look, Heaven's Phil on top of that. And then Fate Extra getting an anime. What's stopping, you know, like the other Fate series from getting an anime? So, pretty excited. The other thing that is really cool, too, is, is this is, I think, going to be the first time we're really going to get to see a series focused around the Red Saber. Now, I don't know much about Fate Extra. I want to be honest here. I'm a novice to Fate Extra. I don't know much, really, about Red Saber or anything. And I know it's not exactly safe from what we know of so I know that some things but I don't know a whole lot so I'm not gonna act like I do but getting into Fate Extra is probably going to be very fun. I can't wait to see it and see what Shaft does with it. I have faith in, you know, Shaft. They know how to do some good stuff. So it's probably going to be a very good series. So yeah, tell me your thoughts in the comments below. How do you feel about this information we received in less than 24 hours ago? How do you feel about, you know, Heaven's Phil getting a, a trilogy? How do you feel about Fate Extra Last Encore getting an anime? And it's going to be by Studio Shaft. Let me know. Have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.